Hey you guys, Dino here. Hope you're having a great day. So today I'm gonna to do a different kind of video. Uh, so today I am going to be comparing two different trucks. So we're gonna be comparing the Ace AF1 trucks and Paris Street trucks. So the Ace AF1 trucks are trucks that you guys recommended and so far they've been awesome. Um, and it's definitely nice to try something different. So, so far I've tried Pair of street trucks, caliber street trucks, independent, and now the Ace AF ones. So it's been nice to try out something different. But you know, I really do enjoy the Paris trucks also. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown on some features of the trucks separately, and then um, I'll talk about what I like about them, what I dislike about them and uh, maybe what I think they might be best used for. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, one more thing before I get to the next segment. Um, again, for any new viewers, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your, you watching. And once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're giving away a Lanyard's Drop Hammer. So feel free to like and subscribe guys and share that video. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get to those features I talked about. So uh, what I'm gonna do here, the first part of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read directly off the website because I thought it was so interesting that I, I just had to share with you guys. Uh, but we're talking about the Ace AF1 trucks first. Uh, that's the, These are them. Of course, they're mounted on my Andy Anderson, Pal, well, my Pal Peralta Andy Anderson flight deck. And I have some uh, Pal Peralta snakes on there. So. Here we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and read the first part is again directly off the website. So, the Ace AF1 trucks, the most technically advanced truck to ever hit the market, offering breakthrough performance without deviating from the original geometry. Signature casting process for unmistakable quality, giving increased strength by 70%, making the AF1 truck the strongest on the market. So, I that's hey, if that doesn't make you want to buy these trucks, I don't know what does. I mean, the strongest trucks to ever hit the market. That's insane. Um, another, as another little side note, one thing that I really liked these trucks, I didn't know that came with it until you guys mentioned it in the comments, uh, the re-threading axle nut. So that's pretty neat. So you don't have to worry about stripping anything. You have re-threading axle nuts. So that's very cool. I really dig that. Uh, the Ace trucks come in at 50 millimeters tall, so they're not going to be the tallest trucks out there, but you know, 52 millimeters tall. They're made out of a SCM 440 alloy steel for the axles. So um, my thoughts and opinions on the trucks, uh, you know, actually, let's go ahead and save that. What we're going to do now is I'm going to move this aside, and we're going to talk about. Da -da -da -da, my Paris trucks. Of course, these are mounted on my Santa Cruz Remillard Lit AF deck, which is super cool. And I've got the uh, 59 millimeter G slides on there. All right, guys, so here we go. Again, this is directly from their website. So Paris Street trucks. Paris Street trucks are made to skate and will take your street and hybrid mini creature skateboards to the next level. Ideal for any board, including the smallest mini to the largest double kick boards. With a taller profile than standard conventional trucks, more clearance, giving less wheel bite. So, um, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. They did not dispute Ace A1 trucks as being the strongest on the market, so maybe they're going to concede that, you know, that strength factor. But what I was able to find also, in addition to that, is the bushings. So the bushings that come with these are 93A, which I really like that stock bushing. I think the Paris trucks are my favorite stock bushing of all time. Like I love those bushings. I love the way they feel. These come in at 57.15 millimeters tall. So an extra five millimeters of height. Uh, obviously five millimeters is not a huge difference, but we're talking skateboard. So it does make a difference. Uh, grade eight steel axles. So that's, uh, I, you know, for, I, that might be, I don't know what grade 8 steel is compared to 440. I know what 440 is, but I don't know what grade 8 is. So, and then one thing that I saw on the, for the Paris trucks that I didn't see on the, uh, the Ace trucks is a lifetime guarantee. So, you know, you can't really beat that. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to talk about my favorite aspects of each truck and kind of 
my least favorite aspect of each trap. All right, guys. So we've, we've we've talked about a few different things here. I went ahead and talked about some of the features of these trucks. Uh, obviously, I, talked, I mentioned the setups that they're on. So now I'm going to talk about my impressions and thoughts and feelings of the trucks, uh, especially after riding them side by side, back to back. So we're going to start with the Ace trucks first. Uh, so the Ace trucks are really nice, you guys. I really do like the way that they feel. They give me a, uh, a very carvy feel, which I really, really, that's one of my favorite things to do on any board. If you ever see my girlfriend out there and you ask her, what's his favorite thing to do on a skateboard? She's probably gonna say, carving. He loves to carve, he's weird. And these trucks feel really good carving. They're super smooth, they're, they feel really good. Um, even, you know, pumping on them, I can pump really well on them. So I don't know if it's just the whole geometry combined with the bushing setup or what, but they feel really smooth and they feel really good. In regards to carving. Um, another thing too is the way that they turn is very nice. I really do like the way they turn because some trucks if you tighten them a little bit too much they can kind of get really stiff and they don't turn so well and then you your wheels start coming up or if you they're too loose then you end up getting a wheel bite and it's just you know but these ones are nice. I don't have them over tightened obviously. I don't have them too loose. Kind of loose but you know not too loose because I have larger wheels still. Now, I'm gonna talk about my Paris trucks. Uh, so the Paris trucks, they do feel a little bit taller. Uh, I never really thought about it until I was kind of doing the research and I thought about when I was riding and you know, it really did seem like it was a little taller. Um, but not in a bad way, you know, I felt good. Like, you know, one thing I've always, I've noticed about the uh, Santa Cruz board is it felt like I was cruising faster than I was cruising on the uh, Pal Peralta deck, even though this has smaller wheels. I mean, these are 59 millimeter compared to 66, and I felt like I was able to cruise faster and longer on these than I was on those. So I don't know if it's just the, the hardness of the wheel because these are 85As versus a 75A. So that could have a lot to do with it, but you know, uh, the height difference should also factor in. Um, so I feel like the geometry, the height aided in that. Uh, you know, I honestly, I love, so I mentioned the Ace Trucks, how much I enjoy carving them with them. I enjoy carving on the Paris Trucks even more. Uh, they just seem so uh, smooth, they're just so predictable, so much control. Again, I don't, I mentioned the bushings, I really like the feel of the bushings on these trucks. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if it's what it is, if it's just a combination of everything, Maybe because they are a little bit harder, the you know I, I feel like I tightened them about the same, so maybe it just I should maybe loosen up the ace trucks, maybe that will change the feel. But I, I the Paris trucks they just feel so much smoother, and like I said, the control when I'm when I was carving on these, uh, they felt so much more. Con I felt so much more control. Now one thing I will say is so I was carving and the wheels, the G-slides are breaking traction really easily. All right guys, so I wanted to make sure that I was able to share my thoughts on these trucks with you guys. I do wanna make sure I say thank you guys for the recommendations because I'm extremely happy with them. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I'm not gonna, you know, I don't know if I'll buy them again over the Paris trucks though because the Paris trucks are definitely gonna be the ones I would recommend for you guys if you're watching this video. Um, I, I would recommend the Paris over the Ace trucks, and they're a little bit cheaper too, so that does help. But um, the overall feel, quality, everything, top notch, you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative for you. Stay safe, stay strong, get out and skate, or do something that makes you happy. Have a great day, guys. Thank you.